What's going on everybody, JCSB here, and welcome to episode 16 of season 3 of our Minecraft Let's Play. <clears throat> Sorry, I had to clear my throat there, it's a little early to hard to be having to clear my throat, but I, I am feeling a little bit sick, and uh, not to mention, I, I just wanted to throw this out there guys, I have just finished one of the busiest weeks at school I have had all year, uh, pretty much all of, uh, out of all the time I've been in high school really. Um, it was a really crazy week, uh, this week that just passed. I had a whole bunch of projects to do, a whole bunch of homework, especially for my biology class, which is like a college-level biology. I was up till like 2 o'clock, even 2.30, almost every night. It was, it was really, really bad. But uh, I am finally done, and I'm finally ready to get back into recording. I haven't really been uploading much due to the fact that uh, school does come first. Uh, it's unfortunate that... Um, I'm not able to upload, you know, as much when school's going a little bit crazy, but it's honestly just the way things are, and uh, hopefully you guys uh, weren't too mad. Thank you for those who have been patient. Um, I did want to upload, but I I've just been so busy, it's not even been funny. But um, we're back in our world here, and I'm not sure if in the last episode I had Doc M77's texture pack, but I am now using the Faithful texture pack, and I, I just realized that... Uh, due to the fact that this is Doc M's personal pack, the the pictures have been changed. Now, I had put these pictures up here to simplify what was in the chest. Like, there was a creeper picture here that showed that this was mob items. And over here, there was a whole bunch of... There was, like, a an apple and a, a flower or something. And now it looks like a repeater. Doc M77's uh, tree house that he calls Morningwood. And uh, a picture that says Doc M. Uh, but... Um, I, I guess we're going to live with it, you know, I'm not going to go in and edit the pictures, and uh, a lot of you really like this texture pack, I could use the standard default faithful texture pack, but uh, I really like the rest of the textures and dot cam texture packs, so I think we'll stick with it, I kind of know where everything is now, so uh, it's not like I'm going to get lost or anything, uh, regardless, I want to make some more bread, and uh, I've decided basically just kind of to go all out here and use the majority of our wheat to make the bread, because, uh, I don't know. I'm I'm tired of having to constantly make food, and I just want to, you know, kind of be situated here. There we go. Now we've got food for for a pretty decent amount of time, and I'm gonna rearrange my inventory here. I've been playing, uh, in my, you know, limited free time. I I did get a chance to go in and check things out on my personal world, uh, and I kind of have like a new setup here that I do. It's it's not really that different, but I, I kind of like you know having the bread near the sword and stuff like that so just little things like that now what we were working on uh last episode was episode 15 and that was of course the hour-long special and uh in that we had, we got a pretty decent amount of work done we had started working on the tree farm and we also built a cactus farm what the heck why is he not burning oh wow don't tell me he's shadowed by that Well, at least we took care of him. Not too big of a deal. Yeah, we worked on this cactus farm, which I am really, really liking. Uh, I don't even know if it's produced any cactus yet, because I haven't really played that much. And uh, if it did, the, the cactus probably just spawned. The cacti, whatever you want to call it. Uh, somebody actually mentioned in the comments that cactuses, uh, which most people think is incorrect, is actually a legitimate uh, plural form. Apparently in the dictionary... The plural form can either be cactuses or cacti, so there's your little grammar lesson uh, for the day from old JCSB, but <laughs> yeah, I really don't think it's that big of a deal. A lot of people get honestly too worried about stuff like that. Um, you know, uh, my, my point or, or my goal in this video is not to use improper grammar, so you know, cut me just a little bit of slack on that. But otherwise, uh, I'm like I said, I'm really happy to be back recording here. And uh, playing some Minecraft. I actually, uh, last night, uh, pretty much the whole day yesterday, I was working on a project that I had to do for my biology class. I had to build a timeline that uh, showed, you know, the discoveries made over the year for the structure of DNA. Which just, I know, sounds really, really exciting. Uh, boy, it was a lot of fun. But regardless... Um, it pretty much took me the whole day, and I was actually up pretty late last night. Um, I kind of sort of procrastinated like I usually do, and I left it to the last day, which I do not recommend doing. Regardless, 
Um, I figured that, um, for those of you who saw my last two videos on this channel, I have on my personal world a skeleton XP farm, where I basically have to let my guys sit AFK while mobs spawn, and then I go in and, um, hit them and get the, uh, the XP from them. And, uh, I decided that I would let him basically sit there most of the day, and I would check every couple of hours and, you know, kill all the mobs off. And, um, I had, like, two XP levels yesterday morning. And by the end of the night, last night, I had gotten to level 50 XP, which was pretty exciting, you know. I just basically left my guy there for most of the day and, you know, occasionally came to kill all the mobs off. But I had successfully gotten to level 50 by the end of the day. And, um, I did an enchantment on a diamond pickaxe. And the reason why I'm telling you guys this is because I've got what I've been waiting to get on my personal world forever. I have enchanted at level 50 probably now five diamond pickaxes on that world. And I had just been waiting for this one enchantment. And last night I finally got it right before I went to bed. I got a diamond pickaxe that not only has efficiency 5 but also fortune 3. For those of you who don't know, Fortune 3 gives you the ability to to have uh, items or blocks that you break drop up to four of each item. So, for example, you could uh, break a piece of or break a block of diamond ore, and it would drop four diamonds, which obviously is just incredible. Uh, you know, you could find uh, a whole a little vein of uh, diamond and walk away with you know up to four times as much as you normally would have. So it's a really exciting enchantment to finally get, and uh, it really just made my night, and I went to bed all happy. I know it's like such a nerdy thing to be so happy about, but um, it, it really did make my day, so I was pretty happy. Alright, so let me see how I'm going to set this up. I believe what I said I would do on this, I'm trying to remember, I believe this is going to be um, regular oak trees, so I am going to start filling some of this in. And I just made a whole bunch of planks, though. I probably should have left some logs. I guess it's not that big of a deal, though. Now, I still don't have any sandstone because uh, it, t it requires kind of a lot. I have to travel off to my desert, and it takes a while to get enough sandstone because, uh, you know, it takes four pieces of sand just to make one sandstone block. So it does uh, require a lot, but I do have the planks now, so we can start filling these in. And uh, the general, I guess, uh, consensus or whatever you want to call it, what you guys have decided was that it is a good idea to use uh, the planks that go with the type of log that we are growing. So I will leave the birch planks with the uh, the birch trees here. I think that is a good idea, like you guys said. And uh, I think it'll turn out looking pretty nice once we're done. Uh, we obviously have to get you know the rest of the trees and all of their planks. That way we can make you know sections for them but it, it's gonna be a work in progress till I feel that it's completely done and uh, you know for now we'll just work on it little by little uh, get as much done as we can I don't want to make the whole episode you know simply about putting together this tree farm I don't think that would be too exciting but anyways I have something that I gotta tell you guys about I, I meant to say this at the beginning of the video that way those who don't you know always stick around for the entire episode would see it uh, me and Otter I have been talking about starting a series, and we actually did start it. We recorded the first episode. Um, I set up a little private server, and uh, we recorded the first episode, and he actually went and uploaded the first episode on his channel. Now, uh, we got we had a little bit of a mix-up uh, with the times on when we were supposed to upload them. He, a he actually uploaded it before I had finished mine, and, and I went through the footage, and the first 10 minutes of the footage are completely fine. You can hear both of our voices. And then for some reason, uh, his voice just drops from the next 10 minutes of, of the video. Meaning that you can hear my voice fine, but you can't hear his. And I have deemed the footage uh, unuploadable. That's a new word that I just made up. But um, uh, you guys aren't going to want to see it because, um, unfortunately, you know you hear everything I say to Otter, but you don't hear anything that Otter says back. Like I said, it went fine for the first couple of minutes, and then something strange just happened. Uh, for the whole entire time we were recording, you know, I could hear his voice no problem, and just for some reason, uh, his sounds, his audio were not picked up for the other half of the video. But regardless, he did upload it, and I'm not going to ask him to take it down because it got such a good response on his channel. People really, really did like the first episode, and it's done a really good job on his channel. And for those of you who 
uh, have maybe tried to start a YouTube channel, you do realize that it, it gets a bit difficult to get views. Not that views are, are too important, but uh, something that goes that successful, you don't want to take it down and have to restart it. So we're in the process of figuring out what we're going to do, whether or not we're going to maybe just uh, alternate episodes to where episode 2 would just be on my channel and then episode 3 would be back on his or whether or not you know I just skip basically the first episode and try to record from there but regardless um, you know I got a whole bunch of people from his channel that came over to my channel yesterday when he uploaded it and you know a lot of people subscribed to me and said hey Otter sent me and uh, the whole point of uh, or one of the points of this was you know so that we could you know share our audience introduce our audiences to another person and I mentioned Otter once or twice before but uh, I really feel bad because not only you know did the footage get messed up but uh, you know he he you know uh, like unintentionally helped out my channel by bringing over a whole bunch of the new viewers and I wasn't able to do the same for him as I wasn't able to upload my portion of the video so I would really really appreciate it if you guys would go over and check out Otter's channel um, I will link it in the description. It's I game legit, and like I said, I w I really would appreciate it. He does deserve it. He is a really good Minecraft player, and his videos are very very entertaining. So, and like I said, it is worth your time. So if you guys could do that for me, it would make my day. Uh, like I said, he really does deserve it, and hopefully we can get this series working. I just uh, unfortunately have to figure out what went wrong because. Uh, it didn't seem like there were any problems when we recorded and you know like I said the first 10 minutes of the footage were completely fine and then something happened that basically just turned off you know recording his volume for some reason so uh, we, we are working to get that figured out and to figure out what our decisions are gonna be you know with the rest of the series but regardless uh, I still want you guys to go check out his channel like I said he really does uh, deserve all the support and uh, I think you guys will really enjoy his videos so please go do that for me, and uh, Otter, if you're uh, watching this, I'll, I'll try to talk to you on Skype tonight. I actually don't have any homework today, which is pretty rare for me, and I'm, I'm really excited about that. So that's the deal with that, guys. Um, like I said, you know, just, just go check him out. It'll definitely be worth it. He's got a bunch of series going on, and all he uploads is Minecraft. So, um, and I say that in a good way because I know a lot of you will like that because I know there are some of you out there that don't want to see any game other than Minecraft and luckily for you guys on Team JCSB that's really all I've uploaded here but I realized that you know that was a lot of the reason why a lot of you uh, didn't follow over to Fusro John when I made that switch for the month or so so uh, you know he's another Minecraft player that you guys can go check out and I think you'll really enjoy his videos anyways I just want to make one more strip of this birch farm here um, I was gonna make three strips of it to be even with uh, our regular oak tree here but um, I'm not exactly sure if I have the room for that right now I might I might make a third strip uh, like I said I'm not entirely sure but uh, we'll figure things out here did I miss a sapling no okay it, it looks weird because I don't have the sandstone in yet so I can't see where all the saplings are supposed to go that's okay though am I gonna run out of torches yes I am that is really really unfortunate I need to go make more it, it's funny because uh, when you play on a personal world, you can obviously play on it uh, as much as you want. Meaning, you know, uh, like like for me, I I could play on team on this world here, this season three let's play world, whenever I wanted. But I, I kind of feel like you guys would be missing out on a lot of the action because you know a lot of you want to see what goes on every episode, and um, I I really don't play on it off camera except for you know doing boring stuff like mining or something like that. Uh, so with the personal world, you, you get so much work done in, in a shorter amount of time. So, you know, I've done a whole bunch of mining on that, especially now with my Fortune 3 pick and stuff like that. And, and the reason I find it funny is because uh, when I play on that world, I basically have this whole column here all filled with stacks of torches just because I have, you know, almost half of a full, half of a large chest, you know, filled with torches. Uh, or, or not with torches, but um, with coal rather, just because I have so much of it. So um, it, it's kind of weird to run out of torches here because, uh, you know, when playing on your personal world, that never really happens. So let me put some saplings away. Where do apples go? I'm, I'm guessing that goes in food. Yep, got a nice little spot for them and eggs. 
Oh, what I wanted to do today, actually, I just remembered, is I wanted to set up a trash can. Um, I built one of these for, like, really the first time in my, um, my personal world. Let me put the planks away. And I find that it is a really, really useful thing to have around. Basically, what you do is you set up, um, a cactus trash can that basically allows you to, uh, dispose of items. Now, I want to build it up here in my storage room. So, let me see how I'm going to do this. Um, it's going to look weird, though, because this is only a one one deep uh, platform, so you really can't dig down into the base. Uh, let's see. I might have to build it down there. We might build, like, an official little trash can. Yeah, I mean, I guess that's what we're going to have to do because there really isn't a good spot for it up here. Alright, so let's go downstairs. And sorry if I sniffle like this. Yeah, uh, like I said, my nose has just been running. It's weird. I, I don't have allergies as far as I know. Yet this uh, this whole week, it's I've been acting like I do for some reason. So it, it is quite frustrating. But there's nothing that I can really do about it. I can't like make myself not have a runny nose, is, I guess is what I'm trying to say. But let me show you guys uh, how to make this trash can. Because I'm sure that's all you're really interested in as I blabber on here so we dig down two blocks and we have a sand block then what you have to do is remove the four sides now the reason for this is because we're going to place our cactus here and a cactus cannot grow if there's blocks right next to it uh, it has to have free space around it the corners you can leave so that's fine now what i like to do is place a torch in all these spots just because you won't be able to see the torches from up on the surface but it'll still provide light which is pretty neat so let me get out uh, my dirt here. I have to replace this. So then you put the cactus here. Now the cactus won't grow any higher because once it gets up to here, it'll break off, fall back into the cactus, and get uh, destroyed. And that's how this whole trash can works, really. Let me show you. Uh, I need to go get a hatch, actually, or a trap door, whatever you want to call it, because that's kind of like the lid to the trash can. And um, like I said, I have one of these in my personal world. Uh, because of the fact that I have a skeleton XP spawner, I have way too many bones and arrows and and things like that. So there really is no need for me to hold on to all that stuff. And uh, now I've just been basically getting rid of it all. Because it's just uh, taking up way more storage space than I have available. And uh, I feel that if we play on this world long enough, the same thing will be the case here. So we might as well be prepared and have a trash can for when that happens. Uh, it seems like it's already having with seeds, uh, the seeds that you use to cook, or to bake, not bake, but um, grow wheat. Uh, it seems like we're already getting a, a huge supply of that. And um, uh, uh, honestly, it just takes up too much space, like I said, and I'd much rather just get rid of it. You honestly don't need that many seeds, and every time you harvest a wheat farm, you get even more seeds. So it's like you'll never run out. But basically how this works is here we have... The, the hatch and what you do is you take an item for example this extra hatch that we won't need and maybe you know we say half this dirt you know we have way too much it sits here you open the hatch it, it it goes into the cactus gets deleted and there you go you're off on your way like i said um, i'm not exactly sure how important it is but uh, i don't know i think it's pretty cool and i'm actually not going to put those torches here because like i said i put torches down there that will hopefully shine through now, you can make this a little bit more elaborative by, you know, maybe making it actually look a little bit more like a trash can or something like that. And, you know, you should still be able to throw items in there and get rid of them. But, uh, honestly, I think that's, that's probably good enough as trash cans go. It doesn't have to be too elaborate. It's just holding our junk for us. But, um, otherwise, guys, this video has been going on for like 20 minutes, so I do think I should end it here. We'll work on the trash can later since that's a really significant project. Sarcasm implied. But anyways, I uh, hope you guys have enjoyed episode 16 of our Minecraft Let's Play. I should be back to a regular uploading schedule as long as I don't get thrown any more crazy assignments at school. Um, but other than that, guys, like I said, I hope you have enjoyed. If you did, be sure to hit the thumbs up button because I love seeing the support. It's basically what... What motivates me to keep going to know that you guys, you know, are liking what I am uploading. Other than that, guys, uh, go check Otter out. Like I said, link's going to be in the description. And I will see you guys all on Wednesday for episode 17. Have a great day, and I will talk to you all later. Peace!